Hey, uh, Doug Durda. He's, uh, uh, again, big on the social medias. Uh, you know this guy? Yeah, should I drink that.com? We'll give him a shout just because. Uh, so he had a pretty cool. Uh, uh, he asked if we'd seen, seen uh, this thing from, uh, I think it's popped up at CES or it's available uh, right now. Um, but he's, he's hoping to get his hands on, on something like this and test it out. So, you know, there's a lot of devices where you get this iPhone and you can add on and cameras and audio and everything to make it more of a capable camera. Uh, this is something called the. Ceremonic Smart Mixer Professional. Let me get the full name. Uh, professional Recording Stereo Microphone Rig for iPhone and Android, Android Smartphone. So there you go. If you have an Android, this is something that will work for you because uh, it, it's really just kind of using your, your headphone jack at this point. Uh, so it's it's a nice stick. It's a stick. Uh, it's a stick that, uh, that you, uh, you, you stick your smartphone into, and it's got a really good um, onboard kind of directional microphone situation at the top. And, and that's I, that's the really important thing is to get that microphone. It's using full-on XLR mics from the looks of things. And, uh, well, it, actually, they look like they're plugging the headphone jacks, but it's got some uh, capabilities for, for adding maybe some XLR stuff, which is kind of a higher-end uh, mic sort of connection. Uh, and it's going to, one, it's going to keep everything a little bit more stable by being that kind of stick kind of setup. Um, but then also, uh, you know, this is like a super selfie stick now that I think about it. Like a super capable selfie stick, so don't take it to a pens game, okay? <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> I, you know what? This is going to lead into an interesting conversation later with CES and headphone jacks and new phones and. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Which is the first thing you know? That's now the first thing I look at when I look at these things. I'm like, oh, you're using a headphone jack? Huh? That'll be obsolete soon. <laughs> but, but but that's a difference. Something like this, because usually. Um, somebody's, you know, somebody's asking me where, where can I get a good microphone? Uh, you know, I have an Android phone, and it's like, well, if you had an iPhone, I have a lot of options for you because they make a lot of things. And the big thing is, instead of using that headphone jack, which you know can have issues, um, you're using the port on the bottom that's proprietary, whether it be the newer iPhone with the Lightning connector or the older one with the 30 pin. Um, it takes more capabilities. All this does is port the audio in, and you you just take it in on whatever app you use on your phone. So it's it's up to that from there, right? Versus mm -hmm. if you get one of these high rig systems, it's plugging into that specialized thing in the bottom. It's 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 taking advantage of of, of maybe a few more features in, in the application, and that's what kind of limits it. And and there's not some there's not a commonality in ports. There's not a commonality in audio drivers. I understand for Android, and that's been the big dis distractor. But something like this, this is going to be fully capable because it plugs in that headphone jack, and presumably it does the right thing. So it it because you it's kind of a special port on this, and 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 even most of our computers that have only one uh, um, audio jack anymore uh, that takes that microphone on that third stripe. Like mm -hmm. I can't just take a microphone with a headphone jack and plug it in and it works on newer computers. It just doesn't work. It, it it's not looking for the right thing. Um, so which is kind of a problem I've been having. I had a drag. I had to drag my computer from 2005 to a gig yesterday to capture audio from a microphone I had um, because I have nothing else with an import anymore um, between all between the PCs and the Macs around here. So that's kind of an, an outside. You thing. can take you can take your they sell like a the combo combo ports to to split out headphone left right and mic uh, they do i found them not to be very reliable or exactly going where i need to or i grab one of these usb dongle things you remember this thing that would give you the the actual split ports and then it fails on me during a live broadcast yeah i wouldn't trust the Broadway. usb thing because that's usb and it's doing a bunch of conversion behind yeah, them that's yeah bunch, that's using a bunch of software behind the scenes that to your point of like the the three the the, the the TRRS that that is like a standard and the, the order of them is standard. Mm -hmm. So if you have a bad one of those, I, I would think that would be a lot more rare. We right. have, we have a ton of those at work for doing exactly what you're talking about. Cause all the PCs now also have gone to a single port for headphone and mic. And, and you're, you are exactly correct, especially on the Android side. It all depends on what drivers they bundled in with their device of even how the like reverse USB stack kind of works. So mm -hmm. 
the one thing I will say in, in, in a future state, I'm thinking there's they're going to have to sell some kind of converter for the headphone type jack, older hardware, as well as to your point, even if you had a, a 30 pin device for an iOS um, device and you got a newer one and it had lightning, they sell the lightning converter module that's like 20 bucks. So you can at least continue to use that older hardware. Um, I don't know. I, I think this, this tech's cool. It gets to the point I start to ask myself, I'm carrying a backpack full of stuff to connect to my phone. Why don't I just <laughs> throw my laptop in that bag? That is true. That is true. Mm -hmm.